All right, hello everybody and welcome back to the quarantine class. This is the fifth match of the round of 32. As a reminder, this is a best of one between these four competitors, Mr. Link, Joshua is drunk, Malkurian, and lab named Wet Maxwell. And with me in the booth is Volantis GG. Volantis, how are you feeling about this matchup and how are you today? I'm pretty, doing pretty good. I'm really excited for the matchup. We got some good runners here. Uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty hype, I think. Yeah, I was watching a lot of Josh uh, earlier. It's insane watching him play because he actually plays on keyboard. Yeah, I mean, it's impressive. <laughs> yeah. I, sure. I could not imagine doing that on a keyboard. <laughs> on go. Three, two, one, go. And bear with me while I try to line these up. You know how this usually goes. Hopefully the stream doesn't crash, you know? I don't know why it would. It's never crashed before. But <laughs> I, I, I mean, it's, it's better to skip them and lose a bit of time as opposed to and maxwell just jumping i missed how he did that i was too busy listening to you but yeah. did he just not go for a lag of skip uh he did a little jump and he kind of yeah. like bounced off the front he, he jumped a little late oh but... no oh, mr link this could not have started worse oh, he's going no. for a dip link was uh the highest seed coming in i think josh has the best pb now though so yes we know he can come back for sure oh no Ooh, bad maxwell bomb missing the bomb yeah and joshua is drunk struggling here too everybody is just collapsing Stop. right now what is Joshua doing? He's drunk. Oh, no. he, uh, is he actually drunk right now? You've got to ask the question. <laughs> oh, is he going to no. die to the... No, he's done it. Okay. He's... I mean, Mr. Link has a chance to come back now. Everybody just completely shitting start. themselves for Mal bomb clip. Malk is off to a good start, though. I mean, so Malk, Malk's looking really clean. Yeah. Did they just all Malk's agree to it? Mr. Link missing bomb clip, too. Oh, my goodness. Like... This, is, this is a start. This is a really interesting I mean, start. this is an exciting race. I think the big thing coming off that that uh, that early game is, is a lot of these runners might be feeling a little nerves, stuff like that. So you kind of want to see how they recover from that and like if they're able to come back and start yeah. playing cleanly. It looks like yeah. Malk was in oh, still. Malk. Okay. Is he going to do the backup where he jumps on the wall? No, he's just going to walk all the way back there. Usually I take the teleporter and do the triple jump off the wall, but I don't know yeah. if Malk knows that one. And then Mr. Link is caught back up. Everybody just dropping the ball in B.O.B. except for Malk gave people a chance to catch up and then Malk, a few little mistakes that have gotten people a little closer to him. I mean, and it's weird to see somebody with like the PBs of a 1702 and the PB of a 1652 just not getting out of Womp sub five. Just, yeah, you know, that's usually I mean, just a standard they set. You might be nerves, might just be unlucky run, but interesting to see how it plays out. Maybe they can recover from those mistakes. Look at like how stinks these guys are going in like very very close going yep. into dark world so th this is shaping up to be a really good race and i feel like stages like dark world like uh fire sea and like bits they showcase your movement and how mr link dying oh no oh i missed that that's all i was about down. to say they showcase your movement and how you can be better than the other runners but oh not a great start for mr link <laughs> oh mouth with the dab you don't see it much these days but you got the dab off really important Might, maybe some rng manipulation going on in there Dabbing on yeah. Bowser. All things considered, Mr. Link isn't too far behind. He has the chance. It, BLJs are a great equalizer. Yeah. Bowser stages, stages in general. Uh, this race is far from over. Anyone can take it at this point. See if any of our runners are bold enough to go for Tama Plus. But... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're going to have a schnoz moment here. I don't think we're going to see that. No. I think Link is going to go for side hop. He only got a one star in uh, SSO. Oh, and Mal looks like he's going for side hop. Yeah. Interesting right, beginning movement. See it. Really slow setup. <laughs> Unsure where he learned this one from. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Do not think it was in my tutorial. Oh, and is he? Uh, um. <laughs> is he debating going for what? He's, I think Mouth? he's just dying. Mal? Um. Uh, that was an interesting one. Mr. Link nailed his side hop. I'm gonna have to investigate if uh, Malk may have been paid off by Josh mid-match. Wait, he's, he's going back. Does he, he just need in? the good setup? Can he only do it when he's moving quickly? Oh no. <laughs> I guess I'm... there's a race going on while we're watching this. <laughs> Sorry. While everything else is happening, Josh pulling even further in the lead. I mean, he's almost yeah. two full stars up at this point. Yeah, Josh did the triple jump. Or uh, a star. Wall kick dive to oh, Ooh, shoulder. Malk dying again. I can't stay fixed on his screen forever though. Okay, he's fine. And he's given up. He's, he's moving on to HMC. Probably not a bad move. Josh has a pretty good lead. Um, if he's watching, he's probably feeling pretty comfortable. Out of Matt, I mean, he has to go for zero cycle if he has a 16. Let's see how Josh has a zero cycle attempt. 
Yeah. It could be going for Polich too. Wasn't watching the like, stream or anything, and nice like, he, he wasn't too confident with his chances over these other Ooh. Runners, maybe. Ledge grab, but with Polich, I think he still he can definitely sell into a cycle. That was a nice pull glitch. That's very cool. Yep, yeah, pretty pretty easy to make the cycle with pull glitch. Right. Even with the ledge grab. Yeah, Max is just eating a lot of lag. Going for the BLJ for fun, I'd imagine. Not bad. Oh my god. <laughs> Actually, All not right. that it mattered like anyway. It. He couldn't get zero cycle, but I liked it. That was sick. I like the it attempt. Was, was I cool. like the attempt. Mr. Link, some, he's crawling his way back. He really needs Josh to either die in bits, miss a lot of throws, or struggle with BLJs. Does that a save and quit? It was a save and quit. Doesn't lose too much time, though, because you had to re-enter anyway. Yeah, that's probably the best place to save and quit, so... Yeah. Not the end of the world. That would probably be yeah, we'll very tragic. Now it's going to come down to BL... Oh, Mr. Link missing a throw. That's a hard one to miss. Really yeah. hurts. You have to wait for the platform to come back up to the right place and be able to grab Bowser's tail again. It's just not fun. It's, we, Mouth it is sucks. getting a lot of lag. Yeah, does he not have counter factor on? Uh, I, I probably doesn't have it set up properly. He, he has talked in chat saying his counter factor is bad. Yeah. Um, Taking the time to fix it mid-race. <laughs> I think he might know it's over for him. I mean, let's just see Josh's bits. It's gonna be nice and clean, I'd imagine. Yeah. And Maxwell struggling to BLJ. I mean, I don't, I don't see Josh losing this. I don't want to commentators curse it, but and then I mean, Mr. Link, if he has a clean bits, get some ground on him, and then a couple missed throws, and Josh might be worrying, especially if Mr. Link can get triple jump walking. Yeah, Mr. Link getting clean into his BLJs back in the second place. I mean, but yeah, Josh a full Josh bit ahead. Josh is so far ahead. Yeah, he's, a full bits he's ahead. He's already in throws. Yeah. He would need to miss three fourth throws to have a chance at losing this one. You need to go oh, full Clint Stevens. Oh. Looks like it misses. Jeez, I mean, that's what Mr. Link needs. He's gonna need a few more of those to catch up. Nicely done on the. Uh, yeah. It's, oh, Josh missing another one. It actually could get scarier for Josh. Mr. Link from moding to having a chance. It's still his to lose, but uh, I'm getting nervous. He got okay. okay. One second. more throw to go. Mr. Link's gonna need very clean throws and another missed throw from Josh. Uh, no, okay, it's over. He nails it. Joshua will take it. Scared us there at the end, but he's he put it together. He was a little drunk in the run. Right? <laughs> yeah. Just sad case with Mouth there. He was neck and neck with uh, Josh for a bit there, and then just and going death. to death. Why did I say anything? Mal, bottom left curse is back, ladies and gentlemen. You do not want to be in the bottom left corner of the booth because you are going to have a bad run. Josh, congratulations. How are you feeling? And what were you feeling throughout that race? Um. Well, I wasn't watching, so I was. I was in my head. I thought I was losing because of all my mistakes and that save and quit, especially bottom at the start. Yeah, I mean, Mr. Link moded, and he only lost by 13 seconds, which is very painful to see. Um, it's interesting. Do you think you'll stay, like, not watching other people's streams or watching how everybody else is doing while you're racing, or do you think that might change a little as it goes forward? No, I think I'll just stick with not watching because I, I think it helps me. Yeah, just focus on the run, just you and the run. All right, hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Quarantine Clash. This is the matchup deciding the sixth person to move on to the round of 16. As a reminder, this is a best of one between these three players now, uh, and the winner goes on to the next round. And with me in the booth is Malkyrian. Malk, how are you doing? And have any thoughts on this matchup or your matchup yesterday? Because some people are begging to hear what happened in uh, well, LLL. You know, I'm good. I'm good. Yesterday, it is what it is. Let me explain what happened to Soda. Um, we scheduled a match for 5 p.m., and he's just been ghosting me. So I, if he had told me an hour before the race started, that was okay. It'd be okay. But um, just the fact that he ghosted me, I'm just DQing. We're doing a countdown. Three, two, one, go. We'll give the right. streamers a few seconds. All N64s. Everybody on console today. Interesting. We'll find the, that or somebody lied to me, but we'll find out shortly. <laughs> I mean, that's a version difference already, though. Uh, Ray and Jaquarium on Japanese and Curry on US. Starting out those two seconds slower. And Jaquarium Ray missing lack of lack of skip. No problem. The curry as well. Jaquarium starting a little bit behind now. I mean, Jaquarium could make up that time he lost at the. Nope, everybody going for Gunless. Maybe no Alice attempts. Oops. We'll see soon. Yeah, well, I mean, you may be more confident with. Uh... Oh, and just like that, Ray misses it. 
And that's why you usually see somebody go for Alice first. And it goes to show he has the higher C to remind people of everybody's PVs. Jaquarium has a 1724, Ray has a 1739, and Curry has an 1835. So Curry definitely a huge underdog here. And he has not done too much 16 star lately. Yeah, and then just like that, a nice solid 450 Womps for Jaquarian. Very easy 17 pace out of Womps. Obviously, that's a little early to say that. And the pro strat from Jaquarian, no issue. Very clean. And Ray going for the beginner strat. No problem there. It's risky dying to the pro strat, especially if you're not too comfortable with it. Play safe in races. I think Ray got normal cycle. Yeah, and then going the Ooh. little scared of that jump. I can't blame him. I've died there a few times in my time. I like seeing people yep. go for reds. I'm a big fan of it. I mean, if you don't think you're going to die, go for reds. Obviously, you weren't comfortable, so you might have thought you were going to die. But if you know you're not going to die to reds, you're probably going to save time over not going for reds. Ray Jaquarium's still just pulling further and further ahead. He got the Shig in Dark World, where Ray probably got the normal cycle. Well, definitely at least got most got more normal cycle. Plus, his movement at the end is a little weird. Mm -hmm. And he's starting with... Top of the pyramid, which makes me think he's gonna do side up. Very clean top of the pyramid from Ray. Right. There goes Jaquarium. Alright. Looking pretty clean so far, just needs a good wall kick. Yep, nice. he's got it. Well done from Jaquarium. Alright, here's the next thing. Oh, punch oh. and toad for good luck. Maybe a little upset at himself eye. for burning himself in LLL and just wanted to take it out on Toad. And really taking his time with this MIPS clip though. He He's got another Aquarium saved. 10 seconds between SSL and LLL, and he's 6 seconds under PB I am. out of HMC, so Definitely he's doing, doing pretty good right now. His best possible time is 17.01, so maybe he doesn't do zero cycle? Or maybe his BLJ gold is bad. Not a bad MIPS clip from Ray overall. Let's see how Curry does. I mean, Curry, at this point, probably a minute, minute and a half behind. Was not actually paying attention to the entrance times. <clears throat> we'll see after. I mean, Fire C is really the big telling point here. I mean, after a while, yeah. Mitch just gets very consistent, and you're not losing that much time unless you mi miss the first grab. And Jaquarium is just flying right now. Can he get the wall and... kick? I think he got it. As long as he doesn't first frame, oh, yeah. he's gotten it. Pretty good. Beautiful. And Ray's turn next. I mean, if Ray doesn't get it... Oh, that's a low pole grab. Very hard to get that's... zero cycle if you grab the pole that low. Yeah, we'll see. He's going to have to oh, do a wall kick both. again. No first frame? All right, he's gotten it too. He's not losing much time. <laughs> Still in the race. Hmm. And Kari eating all the lag in DDD. Yeah, having Not a little bit of trouble getting up on the sub there. And you know what we love to say here, guys? It's going to come down to BLJs. <laughs> <laughs> and with the dab as well, you've got to appreciate the old school dab. You don't see it much these days. Interesting angle here on the BLJ start. I usually, yeah, there we go. He was not a fan of it either. <laughs> and just like that, well, like we say, Ray is right on his tail again. Oh, and it's a tie again. Can Ray get first time BLJs? Oh, Ray's gonna get it! Oh my god! Oh, Jaquarium's got it! It is a race! Let's see All if Jaquarium right. can get the second one a little better. Ray really trying to build up some speed. <laughs> and he's got Holy it! Oh no, he lost it! Oh no! He, he and Jaquarium first through! Yep. Went a little too far on the single jump, so he got on the slope. Oh, oh Ray, no! Ray diving off the edge. <laughs> oh, it's Jaquarium's to lose at this point. Ooh, Moving missing left, left side, side did not make it, but he got the, the re grab. Oh no! Oh, and he missed the second try. There is a lot going on right now here, and Curry almost has a chance if both of them fail something in bits again. And Jaquarium three throws away from moving on. Curry is through the first BLJ. Oh no, Ray! Oh, oh no, Ray! That was a major bonk. And it's over. Just it pretty clean over. from Jaquarium overall. Ray definitely had his shots, but just messed it up there at the end of bits. And the beginning of bits. Yeah. 1756, not bad. You're going to win a decent amount of matches. Well, Jaquarium, yeah, congratulations. No, oh, thank you, thank you. How are you feeling throughout that race? Were you watching? I'm always curious, do you watch the race as it's going down, or are you just focusing on your own run? No, dude, I have terrible ADHD, so I will sit there and focus on the stream the entire time and not focus on the run, so I like I have to like do like blackout everything in order to focus. What were you thinking during those BLJs? Because it took you a while to get them, and Ray was gaining ground on you there. Not that you knew it, but... Dude, on the BLJs, I was having issues yesterday with them, and people in the chat were like, yo, you should probably practice those. <laughs> so I sat in a VC before this with Chip Groove and Schnoz, like practicing BLJs, and I was just like, dude, it's just gonna be a crapshoot regardless. I have to just like try to go for it. And uh, the whole time as I was missing them, I was like, all right, one of these is bound to work, or I'm gonna start getting pissed. Yeah. And thank God one worked. 
All right, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. We are back to the quarantine clash. This is the seventh match deciding who will move on between Zine, Fizz64, Classic Hangi, and Jay Suni. This is a best of one race between all of these four players. And with me in the booth is Zenry. Zenry, how are you doing, and what are your thoughts on the matchup today? I'm doing well, Adam. Thank you for inviting me on tonight. I'm very excited for this match. Uh, there's a lot of great runners in here with some great times, and very excited to see everything go. We're going to start at three. Two, one, go. And we'll see how it goes. Zion with a 1742, I believe, or 1642. Might be even a full minute ahead of uh, Fizz, who I think has a 1740. So, could be an interesting matchup just that way. And Zion's off first. Missing? Missing Lakitu. Let's see how he handles Bomb Clip. Sure, he's not going to have too much of a problem, but, you know, always commentators curse. Nah, should be clean here. As from Fizz. And as a reminder, the emulator players, so the two on the bottom, Hanky and Jaysuni, both on emulator. So they had a 10 second handicap to try to make up for the version differences. So usually between the top two, we have had a bottom left win, although bottom left is typically cursed. Oh, so Fizz missing <laughs> Alice though. And that guy going for his and making up that time back on Fizz. Back in the lead. Oh, Fizz really struggling with this Alice. Oh, third. Oh, no, Fizz. I mean, he's committed for it at this point. At what point you. Okay, I was going to say, what, what point you just go over for Catalyst, but he was committed to it. I'm glad he got it eventually. Bottom two not going for Alice. Probably not too comfortable. Also, they're on emulators, so it does still save time on emulator, obviously, but you don't have to deal with the lag from the tower. So it doesn't save as much time on emulator. And then Zion going to be out of Womps relatively quickly for missing uh, Lagage's Gift. Pretty much the exact same run that Jaquarium had yesterday. Jaquarium got out around 450 and Zion out at 450 as well. Uh, it, we might have to question if Zion is actually using Jaquarium's footage. Uh, we'll have to look into this afterwards though. And Fizz finally out. I mean, that Owlis really hurts, but maybe he can make up some ground. Maybe Zion makes a mistake, but it's Zion's to throw away at least from the beginning. <laughs> Zion was kind of <laughs> Interesting. I haven't seen that exact camera setup from uh, anybody else that Fizz just did for the pro wall kicks will work. Or maybe I'm just looking at it funny, but... It works. Then Fizz actually making some ground up over Jaysuni there by going- Oh, Jaysuni actually dying! Definitely making up some ground over Jaysuni. Oh, Hanky- Wall kicks are not working for him. They're not- oh, having some issues. I mean, Jaysuni- Oh, classic Hanky, just go up a little maybe. Okay, he's finally gotten it. Oh, nobody going for the CCM clip. Sort of debatable. Not really, though, if you actually know this game. Everybody going for reds. I like seeing everybody go for reds. If you're not, if you're comfortable not dying, I've said it almost every race. If you're comfortable not dying, go for reds. Because you're probably saving time over no reds. Ooh, Fizz missing the throw. At least it probably losing off. the time that he saved it. If he would have gotten Shigeru. I think he missed Shigeru, actually. Or he got poverty shake. I wasn't paying full attention. They are four screen to watch. Commentator not with eight eyes. Very good point. <laughs> Can't process it all at once, I apologize. Everybody wanting you to show Feech. They're gonna have to wait. I mean... Oh, Zyme with a little bonk there. Not the... Two little bonks there! Can we get a third? <laughs> now he's in. <laughs> and Zyme going for a Plus. He was talking about going for it, and I mean, he's solid at it. He does it in 120, he does it in 70. Why not do it in no LBLJ? And a very clean Tama Plus from Zyme. That's gonna save him two seconds. Oh, and classic Hanky jumping over this fly guy. Oh... That's rough. Oh, Jaysuni, no! Jaysuni! Oh, no. oh, and let's see the side hop from Zion as we are crying about Jaysuni missing that. And a clean side hop, or capless, wow. if you will, from Zion. Pretty Zion solid run Zion has going. I mean, right now it's pretty much a race between our top two. We're gonna keep an eye on the bottom two in case something interesting happens, but... It's a race here, but it's also... Zion's to lose. BLJs are the great equalizer, I do like to call them. Definitely not known for me calling BLJs anything. No command in chat for it. <laughs> a sushi roll also brings up a great point. Do you think Zyne and Fizz have an advantage because 64 is in their name? <laughs> I think it might be a thing. You know, I'm going to have to agree with you there. Um, I don't have the PBs that they do, and I also don't have 64 in my name. <laughs> nor do you, so... I mean, it definitely shows... It, you're you're absolutely right, Shnaz. Absolute advantage. GTM, considering that he chose the wrong name change, maybe instead of underscore underscore, it should have been 64. We'll see if he changes that name So, Oh, Fizz making mids go the wrong way. That is a not fun time loss to have on your hands. Oh, and he did it again. Oh, no. 
He just can't get his greasy hands on. Uh, he's got his greasy hands on him. Yeah, classic Angie with a good grab though. Now right on his tail. Ooh, my Fizz, be careful there. Fizz, be careful. Oh, he's got to be panicking. Okay, he's, he's got it though. <laughs> Ooh, Miss was scaring me there. So let's see what we get from Fizz here. Oh, missing pole glitch though. Nice backup though. Let's see how Zion's throw is. This is always a scary one to miss. Okay. Yeah, I, everybody relatively close beside Zion, who is now in BLJs, and looks like he just got the first one. I'm gonna need a massive Mario meltdown in bits for Fizz or Classic Hanky to have a chance here. And Picnical, believe it or not, subscribing to Classic Hanky instead of Ozzy Adam. A little weird. Oh, and Jay Suni absolutely yeeting Bowser off the edge. Nice first throw from Zion. Nice second one. Straight as a fucking arrow, as we like to say. And that is just a clean win from Zion. Really, really good run from Zion. I don't think none of these runners even had a PB of a 16 besides Zion, so really didn't have a chance. Very close to his BB too. A 1656, really great job from Zion. Really great job from Zion. Hey Zion, congratulations on your win. Yo, thanks. So that how was are you? Amazing, yeah. great run. Do you watch? I'm always curious. It's one of my first questions I asked. Do you watch how everybody else is doing while you're racing? Yeah. 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 Does it? Do you? Would it even affect your strats? Do you like? Would you go for something possibly harder if you thought you were behind, or are you just curious? Oh no, I'm just curious. Once I see someone fail, I like, I like laugh sometimes because it's pretty funny. <laughs> too kind. Too kind. <laughs> what, I mean, what do you think was a uh, was your shining moment of your run there? Something that you're really proud of? I don't know. That double bonk from the castle movement. That was too, beautiful. So, that, that was, was beautiful. Like <laughs> I mean, just to do that and then straight up go for Tama Plus after that was pretty pretty nice to see, though. You know, after yeah, bonking twice, you can still pull off the Tama Plus. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Quarantine Class. This will be the eighth and final match determining the participant who moves on to the round of 16 between Max25, Seated Acorn, Hungry Kappa, and Cereal Box. Three, two, one, go. And we'll have to do the usual drill. Pause some people to catch him up. Because nobody has the same latency. Hunger Cap had a save file on. Uh, he's on Usamune. And he's on Usamune. Uh, oh, and Max's turn next. What is Hungry Kappa doing? <laughs> Close enough. We're in there. I do apologize for that scuffed beginning. It is hard to line four people up at once. Kappa having a very hard time with Bomb Clip, getting a medium bomb this time around, and blowing it up like, right, right in front of the gate, having some real problems here in BOB. And then, yeah, Hunger Cap is still struggling. Oh, that's unfortunate. That was unfortunate for CD Acorn. Like I said, we will have his audio because it was slightly scuffed. Yeah. Going with Wild Blue back up. Max going for double jump Owlis, actually kicking off the edge, going for double jump Owlis, though. Why? I mean, he, if he's confident with double jump Owlis, now he's not. I mean, might not be a mistake he makes often. Anyway, Max sort of cruising off to that double jump Owlis miss. Uh, up almost a full start at this point, though. Besides, uh, actually, CD Acorn around on his tail. I'm a dirty liar. But uh, let's go over their PBs really quickly while the lull of Womps continues. Max has a 1639 in no LBLJ. Seated Acorn has a 1752 last time I checked. And uh, Hungry Kappa, 1753. And lost Cereal Blocks with an 1834. He actually got that PB like 20 minutes ago. So Cereal on oh. on a streak. Oh no. no, no. Oh no. Seated Acorn. Seated Acorn! Oh, he's fallen. Oh no. Oh, you heard it from what him. Up? How you doing? Gonna be a full tower up. Oh, we never mind. Oh, he's no. not going to be a full tower up. Oh, so Max actually playing it very safe with CCM. To be fair, he usually runs LBLJ route, so I don't know how comfortable he is with the CCM. And he actually did just find out this was an oh, no LBLJ tournament an hour and a half before it started, so might have been rushed to try to figure out CCM. <laughs> not doing it for a while when he's usually running LBLJ. On his way to CCM. Oh, and <clears throat> Seated Acorn just falling any chance he gets in this oh, race. No. Oh, that is so sad to see. It is just a bunch of falls in every stage right now. For Can Hungry Kappa make it? The one and only. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's really. clean there. 630. Max at least 30 seconds up, but everybody else almost literally neck and neck. Seated Acorn 707. So Max 37 seconds up on Seated Acorn. And Serial and Hungry Bot. Hungry Kappa getting out of there at the same time. And Max into the basement. Well, it'll be interesting to see what Max does here. He definitely runs LBLJ. So is he comfortable enough, like Schnoz was, like Zion was, to pull off Tomaples and side hop in the same, in the basement? I wouldn't be surprised if we see it. He's definitely going for plus. Here we go. 
Oh, messing it up, just and pressing up before he jumps. Self sad mistake. He will have one more chance if he wants it, or is he gonna go for the bird here? He is gonna go for town. He doesn't want to risk it. And then everybody else literally entering the base. It's a three. Per it's a race for second place. Sadly, second place in this pool stage gets you nothing. Yep. And then yeah, let's see Max's attempt at a uh, side hop. See if uh, Polis miss like scared him at all. I I doubt it. Experienced runner knows his stuff. Looks like a clean side hop so far. Just needs a good frame wall kick, and he gets it. Very nicely done. I mean, yeah, Max just. Two stars up over everybody else, and he doesn't have to worry about getting a uh, rolling rocks RNG. Yesterday, it was uh, Zines to lose. Right now, it's 100% Max's to lose. He has a huge lead over the other competitors. Everybody else, everybody else out of L. It's a very interesting. Re oh, let's see, Hunker Cap has attempted side hop. Oh, Max, Max oh, dying. No, Max, no. He's, the door is opening. It's still shut. It's still cracked, but it, it's opening. Cap a nailing. Yeah, a nice left. little. I right, side hop capless from uh Kappa. A full uh, rolling rocks up on seated acorn. But I mean oh and cereal box doing the exact same oh, thing. No. Let's see, he's gonna go for the double jump. Little risk oh, oh. I, I he's gonna play it safe here. Just uh, Okay. <laughs> he like put him right to the middle of the door there for a second. I'm like, um are you throwing us on purpose? Is there some collusion going on? Oh, going for pole glitch. Going for pole glitch, okay. Oh, a bonk there. Oh. Zero cycle, not possible anymore. That's some more ground for Seated Acorn to catch up. Same thing with Hungry Kappa, because Hungry Kappa right on Seated Acorn's tail, too. Oh, ledge grab, though. Definitely not. Oh, both of them not getting zero cycle. Not going to save any more time over Max, besides the lag that Max is getting right now. Max, a little bit wary grabbing Bowser's tail, but a good Bowser throw. Oh, and Hungry Kappa I'm not... Oh, will he survive? Oh, oh man. Hungry Kappa? Oh! <gasps> Oh, he went. I wouldn't have gone oh for that God. ledge grab, but he did it. He had the he had the stones to go for the ledge grab. And we're on BLJs now. Um, I'm sure Max is very proficient. You know, technically they could catch up, but Max is gonna really have to shit the stairs, and he has not done that. Pretty much to be expected from this pool, but Max has been doing what he needs to do. A few mistakes, right? The missed double jump Alice and the missed uh emergency exit star. But besides that, he's been relatively clean. Fire definitely could have been better with the pole glitch and zero cycle, but. Overall, this is all he needs to win. And after this race, we will find out who goes against whom in the round of 16. Oh, and Hungry Kappa wanted the left side. Could not get it. Max with a just casual 17. I mean, if, in this pool, you're going to win with a 17. He beat both Seated Acorn and Hungry Kappa's PB. They've had a 1752 and a 753, respectively. So it's just a pretty solid win. Max, congratulations. How are you feeling after that slaughter? Not too happy, not playing the best, you know. Um, yeah, but I still won, so it's fine. But yeah, you. So, did you seriously only. I mean, not. So, you only found out this was a, a new LBLJ an hour and a half before it started, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've been practicing LBLJ since about noon, <laughs> about 8 o'clock. Uh, sorry, but I could have uh, made that a little better for you. But. Um, <laughs> That's my bad, I don't really read much. And just like that, it's over. Um, thank you to all the pool participants. Um, and now we will go through seating and see who is facing whom. Let me just pull everything up. And let's go through. Let's see my Excel magic and see how people are getting seated. And just like that, round of 16 is seated. These are the matchups that are going to occur. I will message the runners tonight. We will set this up. It will be GTM versus Lu1, Green Suiji versus Aaron Truitt, Max25 versus Calio. Calio W, Overwatch, uh, Simply versus Joe Cow, Zine 64 versus Squeaks 15, Joshua is Drunk versus Lojin Runs, Electric versus Snaz, and Lay Sauce versus Aquarium.